<laughs> oh! Hello! Sorry, everyone. Oh. Oh, welcome to math class. Sorry, uh, sorry about this. <clears throat> Wasn't ready for that. Sometimes these uh, classes start, we're not ready, huh? Hey, hope you had a wonderful time studying uh, scale drawings. Um, that's the beginnings of geometry, and now we're going to move into some more geometry. Today's going to be a bit of an activity. Hope you'll enjoy it if I can get this chocolate out of my teeth. All right, hopefully you'll enjoy uh, this activity we have planned for today. Uh, let me get myself out of the way. <clears throat> And here we go. Let's take a look at what you'll be doing today. While you're working today, while we're going over this video, uh, also be in Pearson Realize. So go back and forth, pause this video. You'll want to log into Pearson Realize so that you can do the activity, most of the activity, while I'm doing the video. And you can see how short this video is. It'll be done before you know it. Um, so go ahead and pause me as you go through this and log into Pearson Realize. And I'll Show you how to do today's activity. Here we go. You'll see, I'm just checking to see if the cursor's here. Yep, the cursor's here. When you log in to Pearson Realize, and you're here, and you're, you're, you're in the website, you have, yours isn't going to look like this. I just had to create a student. On the right-hand side here, there's this math tools you can go into. So you click on the math tools. You have all these tools we could use, these, these fun things you could do. Uh, we're going to do 2D geometry. If, uh, if it's hard to find this, uh, I, I also have the link in the, in the comments below this video. You can look and see that's another place you can go to this tool. And we're going to do the building figures tool. And here you go. Here's the building figures tool. This is what you'll be working with today. Here's the item. At the end of the day, it's going to look like uh, it's going to look like this. We're going to have figures and shapes and measurements, but uh, but we're not there yet. We, we've got this. This tool is made up of the shapes. You can do things with the shapes, and you can select and erase and, and pick the shape. Zoom in and zoom out. You can see two units. If I zoom in, if I zoom out, boy, ten units. It goes all the way up to ten. Let's go ahead and go back into a couple of units. So, uh, because you're going to be using this, let me just show you how it's going to be done. You're going to create items, and then you can label items, and then you can manipulate the items. So, here we go. Uh, let's say that I want to draw a line. Click the line tool. I come over here, and I click a point, and a point. Click and drag a point, and there it is. And then I can use this arrow tool, and I can move that around all all want. Or I can make a line segment. Let's say I'm just going to make a line segment. Click and drag. There's a line segment. Click and drag again. Look at all these line segments I'm making. I don't need them, but uh, let's erase some of them. You know, erase some of these by clicking on it with the eraser. Come on. Come on. When I select one of these tools, I can move different aspects. There's certain things that I'll just say the same, but... But I move around and manipulate these items. Same thing if I uh, if I make a triangle. Click and drag. Oh, there it is. With my selection tool, I can move it over here. Let's say I just want to select a point on a triangle. I'm just playing around just so you can see that this is this is what it means to use this tool. I'm going to reset all this. I don't I don't like all that. Reset all. Clear everything. Okay. Also, you know, that was one way to do it. Another thing I could do is another way to erase everything. I can just use the eraser tool and click on the things I want. So anyway, using that, you can make lines, angles, points. We won't be doing much with just the point today, but make a line, line segment, a line angle. You can make a type of triangle. You can make a type of quadrilateral quadrilateral, that means four sides. And then these other shapes, we won't use much of those today. Well, let's say I want to make a line segment. And I want to know how long that is. Well, this, in, this inspect button right here shows us. So I click on that. And what do I want to inspect? I want to inspect the length. So I'm going to click on the length. 
There it is. There's the link right there. Click away from it and it shows up. I can take then, let's see, using the select tool, I can take this B and I can move it around and get it whatever length I, whatever length I want. Hopefully you're pausing this video and uh, you're doing the tasks in my video while you're working on this. Uh, so you can kind of get it done at the same time. I'm just giving you an example. I'm showing you how to use this. Okay, uh, what about an angle? Uh, let's do uh, let's do what uh, 56 degree angle. Okay. Oh, cancel. I want to select it. Let me get it out of the way here. Come on, I want to move the angle. There we go. <clears throat> Move the angle, and I want to know what the what is that? What degree is that? Oh, I've messed up the degrees. What degree angle is that? Well, I come to the inspect button, and I want to know this angle D. So to know an angle D, you click on C D E like so, and that is the measure of angle D. You'll see that D is mentioned as the third, the the middle letter there. That means that's angle D. And then as we do, boom. Using the arrow again, clicking on the C, I can make this degree whatever. Woohoo! So they flip it around. Let's see, so there's 180, uh, and then it starts going down. You can make the angle whatever you choose. A line, an angle. What about a uh, triangle? Let's say I want to make a triangle right here, right there. So I click on it. Yep, there's a triangle. I can select this G, move it around. Select this F and move it around, the H. Let's say I want to know what the measure of angle F is. Well, I use the inspect tool and I want angle F. But, again, the F has to be the middle one, right? We want this angle right here, angle F. So I'm going to click H, F, G, and there it is. There we go. And as I move, whoa, using the arrow. As I move this around, I find, there it is. I find the degrees. As I move H, you'll notice I'm not moving F and G, but it does change the angle F as I move this. You can see how F gets bigger and smaller, depending on how I move it. Again, hopefully you're doing the work while I'm going through this, so you're not gonna have much to do once we're, once we're done talking. But there you go. You've got a line, an angle, a triangle. I'm gonna erase all this. Erase. It's not letting me erase. Well, then, why don't I take, what does this hand do? <laughs> that moves it all. Um, I'm not going to duplicate. I don't want to duplicate that. That's just going to make this too messy. Ah, not too many duplicates. Erase. Erase it. I want you to play around. I'm erasing everything now. I want you to play around with this tool more than anything. If you come up here to reset all, that's the good thing. Bam! Delete it all. Okay. It's all done. And then finally, quadrilaterals. Choose a quadrilateral. Nope, there's my quadrilateral. Ah, I don't want that. With the arrow. Let's see, move it around. Move this quadrilateral. You can make it however you want. That's this. Oh, that's a weird quadrilateral. Concave. You could make a, uh, let's see, a kite, a you know, rhombus, uh, trapezoid. There's a couple of different kinds of trapezoids there. A trapezoid is simply a shape where the top, come on, not the top, the two opposite, two, at least one set of sides is parallel. So on this one, it's the top. Woohoo, parallel. Some, but it can also be the side, side right there. And I can inspect the element. Select a part of the figure to view its measurements. So I'm going to click inside there. Whoa, and it gives me the area. There's the area, 11 square units. And if I go like so, you can see how the units change. Area and perimeter. I'll put it right inside there. And there you go. Okay, hopefully with this uh, bit, a little bit of instruction, you can uh, spend the next five, 10 minutes playing around with this tool, get to understand and know and learn this tool, and then do the tasks that are there below this video, and then write a couple comments of what you learned about this tool. You need to know how to use this tool for Monday's assignment. 
So spend some time on this. Get those tasks done. Do them well. Uh, do them as well as you can. Again, let me just do this one last thing about finding the angle. I want to inspect. Let's say I want to inspect angle C. So I choose that angle, that vertex it's called in the middle. So I go B, C, D. Oh, there's the angle. That is the measure of the angle. It's 119. As I move, whoop, select, as I select that scene, move it around, you can see how the angle changes. That might be one of the hardest things to understand today. You, uh, you want angle C, so you click the C, select the C point second, and then you've got that angle. And just to cause you grief, I'll do it again. A, it's not working. D, It's not letting me. So let's, uh, never mind that. Let's inspect. I'm going to move it. Get out of the way of that. There we go. Inspect. I want to inspect D A B. D A B. There's angle A right there. So we got angle A and angle C. And as I move these other points around using the select button, you can see how the angles, angle A is changing. Angle A is getting really, really small. Angle C, how can I make angle C big? Let's see if we look like that. Whoa. I'm causing more good than, than harm here. Select the D, and you can see how big it gets. Okay, I'm wasting your time. Spend the rest of today. Give this a good 10, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I keep upping the time, don't I? <laughs> Just enjoy learning how to use this tool. You need to know how to use this tool well for Monday's assignment. So today is a bit of a play day. Um, have fun, and we will talk at you later. Bye-bye.